Have you ever wondered if there was an easier way for you to create a home and away tactic instead of busting your head over it? Now, you know, you come up with one tactic and then you come up with an entirely different tactic that's away from home. Well, on today's show, I intend to simplify that with just the 4231. My name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. Not every single club can keep two squads that are fantastic. That is the reality of the game. I mean, you, most of us don't play with a top side like Manchester City or Bayern Munich who can, who have the luxury of uh, deep squads. When you're an underdog, you generally have to depend on the players, like uh, 11 or 12 players, and these are the best players in your club. Most of the other players, well, they struggle to make the first team. Later on in the show, I will have two matches. One is at home and the other one is away. The away match is interesting because I had to draw them out slightly. You know, I have I had to encourage them to attack me. Mentality was reduced and uh, allowed them to attack me. And uh, as it turned out, towards the end of the match, I made one more change and it was enough. Uh, we went on to... Um, score a few goals. So, without further ado, let's begin by explaining our home 4 2 3 1. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, got a complete forward inverter winger Traquatista inside forward on attack, a DLP, a central midfielder on support, which is basically a generic role, uh, a fullback on support, two central defenders, one being a ball playing defender, and an inverter wing back. Uh, the goalkeeper is set to sweeper keeper on defend because in FM21, I find that the sweeper keeper on support feels like he's an American football player always trying to kick it long. So you generally want to... I, I find that it's easier to control him with uh, on a defensive duty. Apparently on support and on attacking, he just wants to kick long. And that's very annoying in the game. Uh, as far as the team instructions are concerned, I'm just going to run through the team instructions very quickly. Now... The attacking version uses tight marking and offside trap, high line of engagement, high defensive line. And then we want the keeper to kick it quickly to the flanks where we have enough support on the flanks to get the ball up the pitch. Uh, then uh, we also play with the counter and the counter press with our attacking width set to narrow. It, my players, when they are attacking, they're fairly close together. If they lose the ball, they can counter press quite easily because they have numbers in close proximity. Uh, as far as our in-possession instructions are concerned, this is an attacking version, so I am really taking the game to them. Uh, we play on a positive mentality. Our passing is short with a higher tempo. We want to keep the ball in narrow confine, uh, in narrow areas with a attacking width uh, fairly narrow. Focus play to the middle. Now, people have asked me this question, uh, what happens when I go wide and I play focus play to the middle? Try not to do that until December the 26th when hopefully the patch comes out because um, apparently, the, the idea here is to focus the passes in the middle. But at the moment, when you go wide, um, the the width instruction kind of plays havoc on the uh, focus. And sometimes we see fullbacks switching passes and that's not what we want to see. We want them to actually keep the ball in the middle, but they they do the thing that they do. So, we, so I, in order to circumvent that, I play on a fairly narrow width encouraging focus in the middle and then we also have an underlap on the left with a pass into space hit early cross this is just gonna attack teams because this again is an attacking system if i find um that teams are sitting back a lot then perhaps i might drop the pass into space and take it off once again width becomes a weapon right so if i want to draw teams in down the flanks and i want to hit them very quickly which is a bit more of a counter attacking system i might drop the line of engagement to standard and then play with defensive with narrow. This encourages them to go down my flanks, in turn making them more vulnerable down their flanks so I can hit them on the counter in the same places. Um, as far as the um, run at defense, this is also another thing I'm, I'm very careful of because uh, we are Forest. We are not Manchester City. Sometimes dribbling is not such a good idea. If you, can't, if you can't dribble well, then you just give away the ball. So this is another instruction that I sometimes take off. So run at defense and pass into space are situational. Whereas uh, the um, defensive with narrow is a strategy if I want to draw teams into giving up space on the flanks. As far as the PIs are concerned, I'm just going to explain the PIs, then I'm going to go in and explain the movement of the tactic. 
Uh, up top, we've got close down Mark Taita. We've got Roam on set on both the players and Mark Taita. We've got a Trequatista, a DLP, a CM on support. A fullback on support has been told to get further forward. Now, this is interesting. Generally, some people might be inclined to play with a wing back on support, but a wing back has got a lot of PIs that affect his play, including did he dribble a lot more? Uh, and sometimes they go down the flanks and they get cross, uh, most crosses blocked. I will see crosses being blocked because I'm using an inside forward and attack here. He doesn't have much support. Getting the fullback up the pitch is meant to just allow us to keep, uh, allow us to transition the ball with the fullback. If I play with the wing back, chances are we're just going to be keeping. There's going to be a lot of driving down the right flank, which I want to avoid. I want to load up on the left and then create the space for the inside forward to attack the, the box. And uh, as far as the PIs are concerned, for the rest of the players, we don't have any more here. Okay. So are there any traits that I look for in, in this team? Well, to some extent, maybe for the DLP, I might be looking for switch ball uh, to the other flank, which is probably a decent trait. Uh, if you don't have a complete forward and you're looking at using a deep line forward or if you're using any other role, uh, the roles that I'll probably be more inclined to use in the absence of a complete forward are going to be the deep line forward and support or even the pressing forward. In which case, I want both of them to have the inclination of dropping deep because uh, we need really good off the ball. The idea here is for him to vacate the space, allowing the inside forward to go, hey, I've got space to attack, I want to go into the box. And uh, with him dropping it off, sometimes the Trequatista will attack the space too. So this is something that I particularly like to see. Generally, I like to recommend people don't use an inverted winger with an inverted wing back because they both tend to occupy the half spaces. In this, but with this tactic, I actually want both the players to sit in the half spaces, uh, and I want to create a situation where we have players in front of the DLP as they bring the ball forward. Because the underlap instruction, Ribeiro, our inverted wing back, will sometimes overlap and sometimes he will sit in between the Trequatista and the inside inverted winger, creating a shield for the deep line playmaker. This allows the us to actually draw more players onto them. And when they uh, come onto the players in front, it creates space for the DLP to play a diagonal into the space where the inside forward might attack. I also like having a inverted winger who will cut inside with the ball because if he cuts inside with the ball and he dribbles across the line, he may also draw players to him and this allows him to play the ball back to the playmaker. The playmaker then has got more space. He will be able to release the ball either for the Trequatista to attack the box or for the inside forward to attack the box. Another attacking option that I like is a simple one but he can be quite dangerous. When the fullback is pushing up the pitch, he doesn't overlap. Instead, given the chance, he might play a pass through the Trequatista and the inside forward, allowing either one of these players to attack the ball in space. When we play pass into space, that becomes a very, very nice option for us because either one of the Trequatista or the inside forward, when they receive the pass in a very good position, to generally attack the box or to create a key assist. What are the attributes that I look for in a system like this? Well, gen there are general attributes. For the DLP and the central midfield on support, these are two of the more important players in the team along with the inverted wing back. All three of these players should at least be have the capacity to play as defensive midfielders. They all need decisions. They all need some acceleration. The DLP and the central midfield on support will both need positioning and off the ball because what we want to do with this 4-2-3-1 is also allow us to morph it into a defensive type of a 4-2-3-1. So it's really important to choose the right players for the DLP and the central midfield on support. We want both these players to have decent off the ball and good positioning, passing and decisions. These are the important attributes. Composure will also be a good attribute to have and so is anticipation. Now. For the inverted winger on the left flank, we want him to be very comfortable on the ball. He needs passing, vision, decisions, crossing, acceleration and dribbling. The inverted winger is expected to be a bit more creative in this setup. He will drive at teams, he will try and look for passes, he will look for opportunities for other players. So passing, vision, decisions, crossing, dribbling will, are going to be good um, attributes for him, including off the ball. Anytime you have an attacking player, please 
please, please look for off the ball. Decisions are gonna be important too. The Trequati star is not a very difficult role to fill. Right? Most a lot of players have these. There are a lot of players, even in Division 1, who can play as Trequatistas. These players generally need off the ball, dribbling, passing, decisions, vision. They should be comfortable um, attacking the box. Now, in our Trequatista, we have one who loves tricks. Uh, dribbles and loves to attack the opposition area. So it's a pretty interesting uh, combination of traits that we have in our track Batista. The inside forward, well, he'll be dribbling and attacking the box. He's going to be looking for goal scoring opportunities. He needs dribbling. He needs acceleration because he is going to get away a lot of the time and he's going to attack the box. So coming in on his left foot to score is definitely the way to go. As far as the complete forward is concerned, in the absence of a player that can play this role, you can always use a pressing forward or a deep line forward. Uh, add the roam from position instruction and preferably this player should have very good off the ball. If he does not have good off the ball, it becomes really difficult to play this tactic. You also want him to have good uh, decisions, acceleration and uh, composure. Strength is also another attribute that we want to look for in this uh, player. So we need off the ball, we need strength, we need some uh, finishing and composure. And if he has vision and decisions, then it's a very good combination. Once again, the DLP and the central midfield on support, just in case uh, you're wondering about the CM on support, both these players should be interchangeable. Right? You, you need two players who can basically play in that position. Last but not least, we have the back line. The back line is a very standard back line. Full backs, uh, inverted wing backs, are, you know, they need acceleration and decisions. As far as the two central defenders are concerned, positioning is going to be something that we're aiming for. We also want jumping reach, marking, hitting and tackling. Right? These are important attributes for this system. If you don't have jumping reach, then you, you won't be able to play with the strategy of going uh, defensive with narrow, which will leave you open. So these are the, this is the setup for the uh, attacking version of the tactic. Now for the defensive version of the tactic, I play on a balanced mentality. Now notice everything is the same. All the most of the uh, most of this tactic looks the same, but there are important changes to four roles here. Uh, we can't really play with an inverted wing back when we have two defensive midfielders. So I've swapped him. I've swapped the left back to a wing back, and I've gone with a Regista Volante combination, which is as close as I can get to the CM support DLP combination. The Regista is like a deep line playmaker. It's a bit more aggressive, so you should go get up the pitch. The Volante is like a cross between a box to box midfielder, deep line playmaker. You name it. He's just a big mess, and uh, they will attack. Um, they will attack the space in front of them. Now, that is the reason why we're using a Trequatista. A Trequatista in this system is going to drop even deeper. And uh, up top, we're using an advanced forward. For counter-attacking systems, I love the advanced forward because he becomes the focus of attacks when you counter-attack. He is going to have a really good life because he's going to be attacking lines, defensive lines, and he's probably the only role I want to play in a counter-attack. As far as the team instructions are concerned, I generally hover between a standard line of engagement and a lower line of engagement and a standard defensive line. I use tighter marking and get stuck in because I want the players to tackle hard within the zone. Right? So when they get into the zone, I want, uh, I want our boys to crunch hard. Now, will I drop my defensive line any lower than standard? Probably not. Otherwise, um, we might lose support in midfield that comes from our two, full, our two backs. Because otherwise, uh, these two uh, DMs might run out of passing options. Um, what about the line of engagement? I won't drop it any lower than lower because any lower than lower and I invite a lot of long shots and dangerous set pieces in and around my area. Uh, as far as the team instructions are concerned, they're, you know, they're set up for the counter attack. We've got regroup counter and distributing to the flanks. And when it comes to our um, other TIs in possession, standard passing directness and tempo with the hit early cross pass into space, focus play to the middle and underlap, generally the same setup as we did before. And mentality is set to balance. Now, this is a low block. So you're going to draw a lot of attention. Occasionally, what I might do is I might drop the defensive line even deeper, encouraging more teams to drift down the flanks, increasing the opportunities for us to have uh, counter-attacking opportunities. And as far as the movements are concerned, they're almost the same as the first one, except in this particular case, we don't have the inverter wing back sitting in front of the register. What will happen is a fairly 
con uh, conventional setup where we actually have six players helping us defend which forms a pretty decent block and it's pretty hard for sides to break down now the attacking movements are uh, uh, almost similar and now uh, um finally um, as far as the attributes are concerned they, they, they're just the exact same attributes if you stick around you're going to understand the logic I'm going to explain the transitions that I spotted and you know what I see on the pitch and why I would do certain things uh, you know how I would react to these things and to, to get the result I hope you find it useful and if you do please hit the like and the subscribe button uh, and if you don't find it useful just drop me a comment and tell me how we can make things better liking the video does help in the algorithm it does help the channel out um, and i hope you enjoy the show in terms of our match preparation we've got team up defensive position attacking movement defensive corners attacking corners passing marking pressing all taken care of well, let's just get our players sorted for the big match there are some I'm still ironing out my 4-2-3-1 that whole inverter wing back and inverter winger does sometimes does make me a bit concerned but I think overall we should be fine now let's try and find players what, what is this I'm not going to do weaker feet weaker feet is a waste of time uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for all the uh, all the players that are not too brave Yo, you won so you're hard tackled. Nagi, you're two. You're gonna hard tackle you too. Uh, what about you? You're hard tackled too. Alright, what about you? Maybe we have a whole team? Maybe I, I can hard tackle the whole team. Defenders are so it's so rare to find defenders with low bravery. I mean can you imagine your life? Oh I'm a defender, but I don't like to tackle people. <laughs> Alright, so all three of these players are gonna have that issue. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna go team selection. We are playing narrow. Um, I'm gonna play slightly higher tempo, keep the ball, run at this team, keep the early cross, pass into space. We are taking the game to them right from the get go. Out of the box. We're not wasting time. Distribute quickly, take shot. Distribute to the flanks. We're gonna play the offside trap, tight marking. Yep, we come in. This is a I'm being a bit more aggressive out of the gates. Um, so we're not, we, we're gonna put a lot of pressure on them and uh, we'll let the Aspen do a lot of talking while we spend, the spend our time looking at how they play. So they, we are playing a 4-2-3-1. They are playing a 5-3-2, I, I a 5-2-1-2, I do remember. So we started off, we're gonna watch it on 2D so that, um, yeah, we can see what's happening, right? So what we're paying attention to is this flank because this is where the inverted wing back is operating. So there's always going to be holes there. Oh, nicely done. Graban, Freeman, looks for options. Bashiru goes out. It's a great early start, Warrell. Okay, not bad. The pressure is being put on knockout. We get ourselves a corner. Corner taken. We haven't done any of the set pieces. I don't think so. We'll have to check okay another throw bong long throw goes out to Arthur. yeah there's some very funky long throws as well if you notice some of them can be looping ones right to the far post <laughs> makes absolutely no sense all right three shots very quick succession um 15 minutes in i'll drop my tempo knockout out to freeman freeman brings the attack forward he finds bashiru bashiru graban graban shoots what a shot end to end action here Morgan Freeman no 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 it's not Morgan Freeman not the actor <laughs> I, I would give anything to see him uh, you know lace up his boots and go I'm playing football for Nottingham Forest not that that's his voice corner take an in swinger from Freeman puts it in okay out goes Arthur I think we need to sort out our set pieces we might have to sort out our set pieces Oh, oh, he was looking. Lolly does that quite a lot. He looks for a knockout. So we're going to look at our set pieces, see whether we've done anything. Oh, we've done a, something about it. Okay. Uh, we're going to send you to the far post. All right. We're going to ask you to play it short. All right. These options. Okay. Slightly different set piece routines. 
10 minutes in, they got a long, they got a short throw. Under pressure, it comes to Arthur. Arthur looks for Bashiru. Bashiru. Inside the box, he goes, he tries to cut the ball back, but he can't. Okay. Freeman. Oh, what a mess that was. Okay, everyone, 6.9, 6.6, 6.8. It's time for us to give a motivational speech to the players. So I encourage the entire team. Now let's let's see how morale just plummet because I don't have to do anything, you know what I mean? They're all okay, they're composed. It's not like I need to go and boost them up a bit more. Why do I do things like that? Just to make life a bit more harder for myself. Warrell out to Bong. Bong out to Lolly. Lolly. Lolly comes to Bong. He comes in. Hey, that's what I see Lolly doing all the time. He cuts inside and he looks on knock cut. Okay. The combination. Oh man, it's a great pass from Knockout to find Graban. Again is a hitter hitter at the far post. We're getting we're getting we're moving. We're getting excited here. Okay, it's uh it's all the way Nottingham Forest putting all that pressure on Bristol City. And we have got two formations. Why am I seeing two formations? Okay, Bristol City haven't changed a thing about their formation. Samba out to Blackett. Blackett finds Knockout. Knockout doesn't waste time. He finds Blackett. Blackett back to Knockout. Knockout buys us the corner. Yeah, if Noka, if uh, Blackett is high up the pitch, Noka will pass it back to him, right? But I don't want to take a chance that, you know, uh, I leave myself open to the counter-attack, not so soon in the season. We want to we want to see how we do against all these teams. Patterson, oh, this is good. Bong will chase this down. Finds Arthur. Arthur finds Lolly. Lolly looks for options immediately. Oh, nice work. Back to Warrell. The ball-playing defender finds Lolly. Lolly back to Bong. Inverted wing back sitting in front of the playmaker. You see what? Oh man, he should have gone in. That's what I wanted to see. That's exactly what I like to see. see let's watch this, right? One more time. This is what I was talking to you guys about. Uh, it's the moment the inverted wing back was in front of the DLP. Okay. Gave him an option. And then when they pass it back to the DLP, the DLP found no card. I was like. It's just what I want to see. Oh, oh, be safe for dear life. Okay, 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 okay. There is something that we are thinking of doing, dropping the defensive line. Um, that's one option. Going narrow, will it, uh, going narrow is actually not a bad move. Those, those little uh, things they're doing, like uh, getting in between our two defenders, uh, become a bit harder if I go narrow. But then it also means the wing backs go up the pitch. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. The wingbacks will come high up the pitch. It might be a problem for us, but then again, it's just one strategy that we can use in this game. Okay, for that, uh, we'll still use the offside trap, use title marking. Now I'm gonna remove the. Hmm. I've got a few players that can do that, love to pass it long. That's fine. All right, we shall keep this up. This guy might be. I might take him off. Uh, if push comes to shove, we might change him to an attacking duty. Graban with the ball brings it forward. Come on, Graban, slip it to knockout. The yellow card for Patterson. Come on. Lolly is going to need medical attention. What's wrong with Lolly? Come on, Lolly. I can't afford to have medic the medics come and see you. The female physiotherapists all want a piece of you, man. Lolly is a. Well, we'll have to see how he does until halftime. I don't want to take him off. He's such a crucial part of how we play. We want to see his uh, heart condition. That heart, right? Not the heart. Condition of his heart. But the damn bloody icon that we have to work with, is, which is fine for me. Okay. Uh, man. Antovic. Oh, God. It's not a bad combination. Lolly is at 6.5. Freeman with the free kick. McKenna. The other option is... Um, Freeman, Nokat, Draban. Not lining up, trying to get past that defense. Freeman with the free kick right into the wall. Um... Lolly looks still looks okay. I need to find out what I, I need to find out 
what that injury is. Oh, they hated it. Oh, defending has been good. Tight car, but we should be able to nurse him through the rest of the match. Yeah, I know. We will replace him at halftime. Tight calf can get cut. I don't think it gets that serious, but if he tears the calf muscle, then it's serious. And that could happen if I keep him on the pitch for 90 minutes. We're defending again. Is the Azuri. Backinson Azuni, I think, not Azuri. Good defending again. Graban, the complete forward coming back to help the team. He's got options. Come on. He slides it to it's oh <laughs> the counter attacks are looking good. Lolly just didn't have time to connect with the shot. The counter attack was excellent. Bong with the ball goes wide, looks for options, and gets us a corner. Oh, first half is 0 0. Freeman, Bashiru with the ball. Sassinion having to defend. Yeah, we're taking uh, Lolly off to protect him. Bashiru, Bong, out to Lolly. Lolly is going to take the boys on. Tries, oh, Bong. He will turn back. Finds Arthur. He looks for options. Okay, okay, okay. We will talk to the boys now. I'm not happy with your performance. Okay, that motivated them. Now we go to tactics. I'm going to have to take Lolly off. What options do I have? Okay, this guy's coming right for injury. This guy's coming right for injury. We got Maiten, we got Pantovic. Okay, we got Freeman who can go to the left. But then again, there's no point, right? He likes to get into the box. We're gonna put Pantovic here. Yeah. Not as you know phenomenal as the other players, but yeah. Graban so far has been uh, playing quite okay. Uh, got ratings of uh, 6.5 and 6.6 .6 for the two midfielders. Opposition instructions are still the same. Right, let's go, boys. Um, that's it. Milos Pantovic comes in for Joe. Comes on for Joe Lolly. Knockout brings the ball forward. Finds Freeman. Pantovic. Bong. Bong looks back. Come on. Ah, oh, Bong. He has to play. The Bong has to play. 7.0 for the Bong. Look at our shots. Look at theirs. If we be successful, we shunted them to the right, right? Most of the chances are wide. Uh, McKenna to Bong. Bong to Pantovic. Bong again. Finds knockout. It eats. I can see the movement. It's just that it's like they don't have that yard of space, that burst of acceleration that they need to find. Like it, 6.5. Okay, we're going to demand more from the boys or we're going to say something different or fire them up. Entire team. Let's see what happens to this. I mean, I could have just gone for one guy, but you know. Freeman, uh, Graban is at 7.1. He's not playing that badly. Good work. McKenna wasn't, you know, he didn't get caught up. But Shiro, knockout now. Brings it inside. Pantovic with the ball. Pantovic loses out again. McKenna out to Warrell. Finds Blackett. Blackett finds knockout. Knockout. Bong from there. <laughs> If the bong scores, that's it. We all having a happy time after the match. Kalas, because he's got the bong. Yazurni. Yeah, uh oh, oh, he had so much time, but it's still not a high SG XG's uh, opportunity. Okay, that was a good free kick. Bashiru, Arta, Freeman, Pantovic, Arta, Freeman. Arthur, Bong, Pantovic, good passing movement. Arthur, the playmaker has dropped really deep to look for space. He's got, he's pulling players to McKenna. Oh man, Forrest have played well, just can't find the back of the net. 
And as each moment passes, I'm getting more and more nervous that the, the opposition are going to score. Carlos finds... Oh, he goes all the way to Da Silva. Da Silva looks for options. McKenna releases. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to do something, right, for the break. We might have to take him off um, and play our... Our Graban is a complete foreign attack. That's the one option. Okay, we're gonna be a bit more patient around the goal. We're gonna work ball into box now. Um, there's no more space. And it's not a lot of space. Anyway, so we're gonna do this. Alright, we got Freeman. Bashiru loses out or no? Good defending from our boys. Our boys, McKenna and Warrow. What a partnership they turned out to be. Both of them are having the match of their lives. But we can't remove... Our right back is, you know, our right list of injuries to the right back is like another thing altogether. Today, Blacker who's a left back is going to play that position. It's a question. we got so many left backs in uh, Forest. Yeah, Bentley's under some pressure. He finds Azuni. But he's offside. There's still time on the clock. Graban is playing well. 7.0. There's no point in, cha in changing him. Arthur picks the pieces. Bong now. Again. Looks for options. Finds Pantovic. Pantovic back to Bong. Bong, you have their DLP behind you. Crosses the ball. Knockout can't do much. Plays back to Blackett. Oh, we're being patient now. Uh, working the ball for a goal scoring opportunity. Bong. Graban. Okay, we're going to bring on Yates. Yates has been injured, so we're going to give him a chance. What a performance from these boys. I, li I like what we're seeing. Graban, Yates, Bong. Another throw, another opportunity. Yates, Yates. That's FM21, okay? Another throw, another chance. Bashiru. Bashiru. All white gets us a corner. Okay, we got a corner. Knockout. Knockout. It's back post. McKenna rising. See over the top. Oh, this is tough. This is tough to take. This is tough to take. Blackard. Bashiru. Back to Arthur. Blackard again. It's Bong. Bong looks. Bong scores. It's the Bong. It's the Bong. He's done it again. Gaten Bong has not done it again, but he's gotten us the goal. Oh, we've been patient. It took a while, but the bong does it. <laughs> Big man bong. Barry is that. Okay, now, what do we do? They're definitely going to jack up the mentality. They have to do it, right? It's so much. Uh, we don't need... There isn't that much time left. So we can definitely... Um, we don't work ball into box now. We don't run at defense. And we definitely don't do this. Okay. We definitely don't do this. But it def it really helped when we went arrow as well. Okay, knockout. Free kick taken. Yates. He's been injured for a while, but we're hoping that he comes back. Oh my goodness. Forrest won Bristol City nil. The ref has got to call time. This is a throw. There can't be much time left. The referee isn't looking at his watch. It's going to be Carlos. He's better look at his watch, man. Yes, he does that. It's full time. We've taken a 1-0 win. Whew. Look at the XG story. If it's accurate. But yeah. 0 0.1. Oh, sorry. This is different from this. Yeah, I was... I, it shouldn't be, right? It should be the same. 1.60, 0 0.80. This is actually total. 1.68 and 0 0.80. I know somebody explained it to me once that this is slightly different, but I can't remember what the explanation was because honestly, I was like, what? <laughs> uh, this is this is sweet. I'm, I'm only interested in this, right? I, I ignore this nowadays. I just look at this. This are all good chances. We had good chances. This is a... Uh, what? 0 0.3? 0 0.30 or some, some, or maybe 0.35? 25 and 25, right? <laughs> so it's 25, 12. Oh, I don't know. It's 12. 
not too bad. So of Ventura is about 2.20. This is about these are two few chances. This is a big one. Yeah. It's not too bad. This is this is a huge chance that was missed. Oh that, that was not too bad. If I go to match stats, uh, if you notice I haven't customized this view yet. We've got clock block on target. Um that's all we need to see. 60% possession. No clear cut chances. 37 throw ins and 7 fouls. Uh, okay, we got on ourselves to a decent decent start, right? Decent start. Ooh, that was a good win from the boys. Was it took a while, but we finally got there. And we finally we also moved into the playoff spots. That was a tough match to play. And the good news is we took after we took care of Lolly. Lolly didn't get injured. Immediately I come into this. Because of what's happened to Lolly, right? I'm gonna look at this as well. Very high. This guy goes on a, a half intensity. I'm very worried about all the very high players. We're gonna we're gonna nurse them back and make sure they are ready for the next game. Where's Lolly? Lolly as well. We're gonna drop him to no, uh, normal intensity because of the knock that he took. Other than that, we should be fine. Morgan, our our young Freeman is already attracting the interest of other clubs. Okay, let's look at training. Do we need to do anything else? We so far so good, right? Uh, we've already played a few matches. Let's look at... This is going to affect my tactical familiarity right now because I've got a second tactic. The Harry Arthur uh, tactics. Oh, uh, sorry. Harry Arthur right now. If we go to training, we'll see this. This is for the 4 2 3 one. Just, Yeah. Perfect. Marking. He needs passing style. Marking, so... A long way to Tipperary, man, for him. Freeman. Tactics. Yep. Marking. It'll be a while before they get there. It's still early days. Yeah, I was hoping to get full familiarity by now, but we didn't get full familiarity. Looks like we're going to have to carry on with our training and pushing it. So, because the good news is... As I have not made it too easy. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and change this to balance. Um, I can push tactical familiarity. I'm really gonna remove all this because there's no match. General, uh, we're gonna do attacking. General, we're gonna do possession. General, we're gonna do uh, tactical. Then we're gonna do defending. Then we're gonna do general. Attacking, general, defending. We're gonna do. You can remove all this. Recovery. Press. It should be fine. We got attacking. I'm mean, gonna. We can put all of them together so we can see what we're doing. Um, attacking, attacking, attacking. Tactical defending, defending, tactical possession, defending. Is, there's, no, there's not a lot of defending. But that's the one that needs to move up, right? So attacking. Yeah, we confirm this and then we come back to the players again. I think one, a few of them are missing this. Okay, look at this main bar here. Um, for marking, we need to do more of that. We need to do more marking. We need to do more passing style. Press is fine. All right, so we come inside here and go to our schedule. We'll, we'll create one which has got marking and uh, marking and passing style in there. So we create a new schedule. Marking and parking, marking, marking, marking. We'll be defending. This gives us pressing style and marking. And then we one the other one was uh, passing style, right? So the passing style will definitely be attacking. This gives us creative freedom rather passing style there we go passing style and tempo so we're gonna do a lot of defending defending and then we want to do a lot of this uh general uh, possession we got no defending then general possession we'll just we'll just do it this way general possession general 
general possession general defending general possession general defending we got match here uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that uh, we have match practice right so we'll just put match preparation we'll just put the match practice here okay. we do a general this is defending and possession defending and possession we maxed up <laughs> we can't do any more that's it we've taken all of them we can we've taken all those that we can, we can possibly squeeze into this one right, this is uh the defending this is uh pressing and uh Think passing style. I can remember this. Done. We go to the calendar right now and go back to our tactic again. It will tell me that uh, for the for this tactics familiarity, marking passing style and tempo actually. So we're gonna have to do tempo as well. If I come to this is worse. So this has got marking pressing it because I the reason the whole bar shifter is because I added the second tactic right so okay, we got marking pressing intensity tempo so basically if I do I add tempo in both tactics should be fine in the end okay um we, we're still working on this tactic okay we go back to our schedule so we need to get tempo in here this gives us passing style and tempo and this gives us pressing intensity and marking. That should be fine. Right. It's all there. Save as. Save as. Pressing. Passing style. And tempo. Okay. All of them are in here. And we got our calendar. I'm sorry guys. But yes. We are putting all this in right now. Bang. Right, it should be fine uh, and then for the next match as well uh, I'm more worried about losing the uh, Blackburn Rovers match right so we're gonna come in here and remove uh, we're gonna do defending possession and attacking so defending possession and yeah, that's all right defending and possession only we're gonna do defending Possession. Defending possession. Defending. And then we'll have to attack. We've got position role and familiar. Yeah, we're going to leave this in for the boys to learn their familiar. Uh, PRD as well. I'm going to just come in here and put in. Oh, thank you. Oh. Done. Okay, so tactical defending position. Slight change to the schedule. We're going to copy this. We're going to paste it. Ooh, I can't paste it anyway. Um, hey, gonna stick our lazy match prep here. Bang, and our lazy match prep there. It might take us slightly longer, but we should be fine. We got injury updates are uh, kind of interesting. Uh, the four that recently have returned from injury, their condition is all pretty solid now. Right, we've been nursing them back, but we got these other guys who are coming back. Christy is gonna come out uh, out for one day time out for so far three weeks so what I like about the game now is that we've got interesting injury reports it is these are the four that re recently returned from injury so they should be fine um I'm getting there oh um, I can go in I can come back in here and I can start making sure that some of these players are yeah, now in Fine, Figueredo should still be on half intensity. These two guys should still be on half intensity. Other than that, everybody is fine. Uh, now this guy can go to double. This guy can go to double intensity. I, mean, I could just go double for everybody, you know. Except for Luke Freeman, he's been playing his his heart out in the last couple of games. Um. I will go double intensity for him too. Okay, we should be fine now. Because we've got a few days of rest here. So I'm going to come in here and make it easier for us in the next couple of days. I'm going to put in... Um, 
recovery here. We should be fine. Steve comes back into training. This is good news for us. But we want to nurse him back to full fitness before using him in our matches. Now then we have this as well. This is the uh, um, available players for the under 21s, right? So you can actually come in here. Uh, is You've got players like Will Swan who's been un... But we haven't been using him, so... Set available for 90 minutes then we got all these players who haven't played want him to play for the uh, under 23 squad until match fit we're going to play for 45 minutes Dawson will be made available to the under 23 squad for ongoing 90 minutes we're not going to use him this guy as well 90 minutes Kafu also coming back from injury 45 minutes now this match fit uh, Figueredo we, we're going to play him Milos Pantovic, we're going to use him. Aguero, we're going to make him available for the... Uh, until match fit, 45 minutes per game. So these players are all going to come in. So this, the assistant manager should be quite happy, you know. Oh, the board have allowed me to go and get a license so I can improve as a coach. That's not too bad. All right, so Blackburn's opposition report, their defensive efficiency. Well, they are definitely, um, hmm, they keep shots. So they're going to be tough to beat, man. They are not going to be easy to beat. And oppositions don't get a lot of shots, right? But the conversion rate is not that bad. So, can, if you're clinical, we should be fine. Yeah, they don't get a lot. Yeah, this is good news for us. Nine. If they're gonna again press playing high up the pitch yeah we're gonna use our this is gonna be positive fluid inverted winger inside forward yep okay good chance for to see how our deep block is gonna work here we are we're gonna be playing this low block against uh, them it's it may get us into trouble i'm gonna have a standard defensive we're not gonna really commit our players into the attacking transitions Gonna be playing it, playing the mentality on balance, a bit lower. Um, yeah, this should be fine. A tempo shouldn't be so low at the moment. We're just gonna put standard and standard. Distributing to the flanks, get stuck in. Yeah, we're hoping for the best. Sao shouldn't be playing here. We should have uh, what Bashiru. Okay, then Jenkinson, Kyrus Christie can come on. We got the usual suspects. Uh, we gotta be. We cannot let him play for 90 minutes. So we're gonna take him off after, like you know, maybe 60. We got Barnsley playing Bristol. We got Birmingham playing West Sheffield Wednesday. Blackburn Forest, Burnmouth, QPR. A lot of the table looks like Wickham, Wat Watford, Burnmouth, um, QPR. Then we are in. We're not. We're doing okay at the moment, right? Uh, Norwich, Bristol City, Birmingham, Preston. Bring up the tail end, Sheffield Wednesday. Not too bad. Um, stats. Right now, we should be able to see things like attacking form as well. Expected goals. Four. Brentford are really shooting like nobody's business. And the team that we are playing today, Blackburn, as they expect the goals 3.90 four matches played on track four goals Brentford are outperforming all expectations yeah, expected goals is something like eight right matches um, but what I would like to see is like total goal scored here then we can actually have a good idea you don't then we have to come here then right so it's a bit a bit of an annoyance if they could just give us the goals here, it'd be very, very interesting to see what the difference is between the two. Because by itself, it just means to mean a lot. Doesn't doesn't really tell me a lot. So I have to have my own views for expected goals right now. The dressing room. Um, I'm gonna hand it to the assistant. Hopefully, he doesn't screw things up. Okay, Blackburn kicking off, playing that four-one, that, that again pressing. 4-3-3 right 
we are also op attempting to do something. Lolly, we're playing with a we are playing with a reasonably low block. Now, if I go any lower than this, right? Lower line maybe still is okay. I'm gonna dr I'm gonna allow them to come down the flanks. I can attack them on the counter. The thing here is with this lower line of engagement, you gotta be really careful. Yeah. They occasionally might have shots at the edge of the area. Freeman. Yep, Graban away. Graban inside the box gets us uh, corner. Set pieces are very a very big part of low block strategies because you get a lot. Sometimes these are the ones that you're depending on for goals, especially the Def even the defensive ones are important to set up correctly. Okay, good corner taken. All right. Sometimes the highlights will just keep pop. You know, the, you, you'll just keep going. Um, short map for Blackburn. Uh, that's our short map, as you can see. Not too many, right? So if I were to pop in the uh, Nottingham, the other short map, which will show us. Uh, one sh yeah, one shot map is yeah one shot map is them score sh shooting at us and the other one is the other team but it's very interesting right I, I was okay this is Nottingham Forest showing up a black man this is black man showing up a Nottingham Forest short man so far it's 20 minutes on the clock Forest is the one that's cat what one shot on target right now yeah thank you very much for updating the short map in time <laughs> There we go. From the edge of the area. But we've had one, two on target and nothing here. Oh man, come on guys. Give me some love. Alright, not doing too badly. Yeah, we don't see any of the highlights, right? So it's pretty common. I'm just trying to see what I can get the thing up. Freeman out to Travis. Tribal goes wide and shoots. Yeah, they're gonna get a lot of these kind of shots. I'm pretty happy to see them do that. Okay, uh, Blackburn shot, man. Go for a shot, man. Okay, cool. Blackburn for us, not taking them for us. Okay, cool. Uh, this one should be visualized. Done. This one should be whatever you want to put here. Doesn't really matter. Dressing room. Enjoy this match. Come on, boys. We're playing a low block. They got 4 2 4. I got 4 2 4. Enough. Half. Two. Oh boy. Okay, I okay. This is this is interesting. They got 4 2 4. Balance. In possession starts pass into space. And then uh, run defense not really gonna help me out. Oh, for possession. We're still doing playing on low block. And in transition. Yep, exactly the same. Alright, done. I don't need to change anything. Now right, it's time to look at our players. That's it. Um, 6.8, 7.1, knockout is 6.1. Okay, we're gonna have to have a personal chat with knockout. He seems composed. It could also be that he doesn't have any opportunities. I'll fire him up. Okay, let's go. Let's see if those numbers for knockout go up. So far, we've had a few. <laughs> I'm absolutely we're six two on target right so these are all what off target off target we got shot saved two shots that are saved these are all off target this is a uh, blocked Campuzano good work from Lolly defending very well to Freeman Freeman brings the ball to Arthur Arthur finds Freeman Freeman to Graban Graban scores Ooh, quick from back to front the block was been working well. Oh, they gone to a 4 2 4. Oh, wow. That was sweet. Sweet football. Okay, we've gotten our goal. Okay, what have they got? Okay, we, we should actually if I figure out what they've gone in terms of the formation. I'm playing the game. Okay, it's still DF, AF. Okay, right. We're gonna go back to our Blackburn short map. So far, it's okay. So well, you see their formation right now. Okay. Their formation. Uh, Black 
Melbourne formation. Okay, 74. Low block all the way. We'll be getting better chances than them. Just keep it. Just keep it. Knockout. Arthur Freeman. Uh, Graban again. Oh, they've taken it off. His Focus now, boys. Entire team. Okay, we're going to take Knockout now. Okay, he's not having a good game. See, this is going to affect his development, but he's not our player. He... <laughs> I'm such a terrible person. All right. Um. Got Lyle Taylor. We can put him on the right flank, but I'm not sure if he's got a right foot. A left foot or right foot. So let's go to Lyle Taylor. He's right, and he's got a left. But he's gonna be able to run at them. Okay, so we put Lyle Taylor here. Okay, confirm some. 10 minutes to go. Bashiru, we got Jenkinson. Oh, I have to remember, we gotta take Jenkinson off. He can't last the full distance. Um, Kairos Christie for him. Hoping to steal a, we're hoping to steal a win. We're hoping, can our low block work? Lolly, come on, does well again. Right, fast. Go, there he goes, trying to split. Oh, Lolly is away. Lolly, slip it. He just is on. Mm, so Lolly, the low block, <laughs> the low block, the low block. It's a low block, the low block. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Lolly skips the challenge, gets in, and then he says. It's two, baby. Nicely done. Okay. 89. What can we do? We got Bashiro now. He's, a, he's, a, he's about to collapse. So we're going to take him off. Lolly, if I can take him off, I'll take him off, man. Here's a corner taken. Christy away. Graban now. He's playing in knockout's position. He's off. And Graban on three. Is this the best advertisement for the low block? Oh my goodness, our counter attacks from the corner. Grabar has the full length of the pitch. And then he does that. It's three for Forrest and nil for Blackburn. All we've been doing is playing the low block. Yeah, let's just fine tune our low block. Make it real. Our low block was tweaked along the way. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I, you know, I am like still finalizing the set things for my own low block. Okay, we've done well. We've done well, boys. We've done really well. Really proud of them. McKenna, Arthur. Arthur again plays it on McKenna. They look for options. Uh, they really just give it back to us again. Our standard defensive line is perfect, right? We don't have to go backwards. Lolly! It's a fourth. Luke Freeman scores. Each time they attack, we just move the ball back up the pitch. Lolly. Lolly, you see, he wanted a second goal. He shot Keeper Perry and Luke Freeman was there to pick up the pieces. It's a fourth goal. Ladies and gentlemen, what a performance from Nottingham Forest away from home. This is something else. It was the second half. I was worried we were just going to lose the plot. I was really like, you know. They went into a 4 to 4 and that was enough. They, they even have Harvey Elliott here. Right. Coming on loan from Liverpool. But this is a result. This is a result. I'm very proud of the boys. I'm very proud. Whew, we've done it. So the table looks very interesting. Barnsley drew against Bristol City. Birmingham beat Sheffield Wednesday. Forest away to Blackburn. Blackburn are going to be in trouble very soon. QPR continue their winning ways. Oh, beating uh, Burnmouth. They're going to be tough to beat. We couldn't... We, they're going to be a tough team. Brentford again scoring. But the expected goals are pretty high. But then, again, that was what Brentford were doing last season in real life. 
Derby, Watford, Watford also winning, but Watford are clearly top of the table. Then you got Luton over Stoke, Midborough over Reading 3 0. Hey, we got, they got Dick Steele! I'm gonna have to try and bring him over. This, uh, we've already got a few. Got a, you know, I want Dick Steele in my team. Preston 0, Cardiff 0, Rotherham, Norwich. Norwich also up there. But Nottingham Forest have moved to third. Swansea, Huddersfield, Wick, Wickham Wanderers, and Millwall. Oh, we moved to third. We're just one point behind the chasing pack. Just got back from the match. Did not see that coming. What a result. I also didn't see that coming. Can't believe it. I'm absolutely buzzing. Be able to watch players at Lolly is why I love this game. I love Lolly. 100 thumbs up. Wonderful win. Shame we didn't score more. Performances good around. Don't be brainwashed by Lolly's game. <laughs> Lolly probably the best player on the pitch. The team smashed it today. Yep. Lolly was easily the best player for us on the day. He's... I gotta make sure that the tactic is set up for Lolly and Knockout. If it's if it's set up for them, we should be fine. The rest of the team are just playing, uh, uh, you know, the base basically. Um... So apparently, I am getting uh, Louis Graban to outperform his real his, uh, his performances. That his real life performances. This is something else. 2.18 expected goals he scored four okay uh lyle taylor is uh he's also doing quite okay so the boys are actually outperforming expectations i've attached the summary of this report compiled by simon hunt on rotterham as he requested now our next game is so so i mean just around the corner right so you gotta prepare for this once again a look at the injury risk but so far it's not too bad right Pizzo is recommending, um, I mean, there are some players with uh, half intensity. If I go th this way, it will show me all the players that ah, should be on half intensity. I think I want to put Lolly on half intensity. Just came off a, a tough game. Um, Jenkinson as well, because he was recently injured. Um, Ribeiro as well. And Scott McKenna, I can't afford to lose him, so we're gonna make sure that they are okay. Uh, the rest of the place can stay on full intensity. Harry Arthur, half intensity. And Luke Freeman, who's, had, who's having a good game. Or rather, last few matches have been ex exceptional as so well, because our next match is gonna be against Rotterdam. But, right at this point in time, I want to thank you guys for coming on the show. It, so th this is the idea behind some of the shows that I'm going to do. I want to explain two tactics I'm using and then I'm going to go into a game because, you know, while we can talk about tactics all we like, right? I, I can create a tactic and you can download it and you can go use it. But sometimes, and usually you'll find a lot of the tactical, the creators of tactics saying this, it really depends on your team. So, and some of the time when you're playing a game, you want to be thinking to yourself, what can you do? What, what are the things that you can do with the tactic to give you a few more options? If you see certain things happening, what do you do? So, we we are still getting to that point, but I'm getting to know my players a bit more, which is the really important thing here. Like, you know, knowing how they, what extracts their best performances. In this particular case, I think Lolly and Nokan and Graban, they like space. They like to be given the run of the pitch. And so far, they've shown that under some circumstances, they really rise to the occasion. So we've done okay. I'll, I hope you really found this video useful. I know it's longer than the typical playthrough that I do, but I wanted to explain the tactic, put myself in the games, and then, you know, hopefully you you can pick something from there for yourself. If you enjoyed today's show, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Just keep hitting those likes. And, you know, I will do more of these kind of shows in the future where I start with a tactic and I do a playthrough, which might give you a bit of an idea on, you know, um, how you can play this tactic. Now, if you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. You can always find me in the usual places. And I want to thank everybody for your continued support to keep this channel going. You are absolutely amazing. I love all of you. You guys take care. Stay safe. I'll see you again soon.